sizzling hot garlic shrimp oh my god this is so delicious you need to try this i use medium sized shrimps you can use bigger shrimps or smaller ones i use the ones with skin on because it has a lot more taste than the peeled ones uh, i don't know why maybe the skin gives a lot of flavor i differ and i just i just cut it way all the way through and uh, get rid of the intestines you can see this black line it's disgusting but you need to get it out and there you have it you know this is the bitter part as well you know and it's not nice if it looks very clean this way there you have it so you can rip everything off very easily even the tails there is intact and this is delicious just put some water in a bowl and let the shrimp defrost all the way through it doesn't smell any very fishy if you defrost this this way, you can add a little bit of lemon in the water so it gets rid of the fishy smell, but this mine didn't have a fishy smell. Uh, this is the second way, I just cut the tail off and then go all the way through with my scissors and then get rid of the intestines like the, the, the last time and get it very slowly, be slowly, otherwise you will break the intestines and you have to get them out piece by piece and then you peel the skin off like that and then you cut the head off like that with the scissors and there you have this beautiful piece of shrimp and I'm going to do the second one I cut the tail off and I started with the tail all the way through the head and then I remove the intestines so it's that the other way around it's in reverse and this is also a way to clean your shrimp uh, it's the easier way but both ways are fine but if you cut the tail off of course your shrimp is going to be shorter uh, it's going to be smaller so you have less shrimp meat left uh, what I like to do is sometimes I do cut the head off because I don't have a lot of time but most of the time I just try to rip it off very slowly so there are a lot of meat still on the shrimp and there you have it it took me almost 10 minutes approximately to clean everything it's worth it you know I sometimes I buy the peeled uh, shrimps but it doesn't have the same taste as the shrimp with skin on so I'm gonna add eight tablespoons of olive oil and I'm gonna cut some garlic whatever you like you know I added five garlic cloves but you can use a lot more or less less depends if you like it a lot or not I like a lot of garlic I pet dry the shrimp and I added uh, it to the olive oil and the garlic in medium high heat cook it away and let's say for two minutes and I added some salt and a tiny bit of pepper, black pepper and a tiny bit of cayenne pepper you know it's hot on the Canary Islands it's very hot at home as well so I don't want to make it too spicy and you just stick it away sizzle beautiful it smells amazing combination of shrimp and garlic is so delicious I added some cilantro and some parsley uh, you can add olive herbs I like cilantro and parsley this combination is beautiful for this dish and then I let it sizzle for one half minute and just shake it around and then serve it hot sizzling like that beautiful and the smell in the house is amazing it smells so good uh, you can eat it with a piece of fresh bread I baked some bread in the morning I have a recipe it's a bread baked in a pan and uh, you should check it out and this is the way how you should eat it with just a piece of bread and dip the, the bread in the olive oil with the juicy garlic if you like this video, like and subscribe and see you next time. Enjoy it. Bye bye.